Welcome. Have you ever been interested in historical language data? Would you like to know more about the evolution of language and how languages change? Or do you simply require some background knowledge for further historical linguistics courses? Well, if you do then, in each case, this is the perfect linguistic option for you. The Virtual Linguistics Campus Repository VLC202 Historical Linguistics. It introduces you to the principles of language classification and language change and is thus the prerequisite for further courses, for example for our course VLC203, The History of English. Let's see how you can use VLC202. If you have an account on the Open Educational Resources VLC website, which is of course free, accessing the repository is simple. Just log in with your personal data and you will find the repository on your personalized dashboard or in your course overview. A click on the bottom of the VLC202 tile leads you to the repository start site where you have access to all modules starting with the content description and the preliminary section with advice and help on how to use the units. And here are the current content units of VLC202. The first part goes way back in time and discusses the origin of man and the evolution of language. It shows how former languages can be reconstructed and takes a special look at Indo-European. Part 2 is truly linguistic in character. It shows how languages can be classified, how they change, and it discusses and exemplifies the various types of change from phonology to semantics. How these changes influence the central grammatical options of a language is illustrated on the basis of the last unit, present-day English subject and object selection. This list of units is growing, updated and quality assured on a regular basis. And our teaching and learning concept? Well, studying online on the Virtual Linguistics Campus simply means go through each unit at your own pace, tick off an activity you have worked through and make use of as many VLC options as possible. And if you don't know what to do first, Use the how to proceed options at the beginning of each content section. And as most of you know, each unit should be finished with a mastery test, where you can earn your personal badge. And at the end, if your score is 70% or higher, you will be awarded the Statement of Accomplishment Certificate. Maybe you prefer using your mobile device. If so, feel free to download the Moodle app, log in and study where and whenever you want. Well, that's it. Now it's up to you. Thanks for your attention and see you on the Virtual Linguistics Campus.